Graham, a, a last-ditch equaliser. What was your assessment of the game tonight? It was, a, it was always going to be a tough game out there. It was uh, not made easier by, by decisions. I think um, we've obviously got a, got a problem. Um, we talk about you know the minutes since we were given a penalty. Um, it seems in games that um, decisions just aren't going our way. And uh, we need to start looking, I think, into the reasons for that. Um, you know, I don't know why the foul wasn't given on Jack before the penalty. I don't know why our goal wasn't given when Lady's corner went you know, into the back of the net. Um, I can't get to the bottom of why these things are going against us. If we get that early goal, they've got to come out, um, break their normal game. They're a difficult side away from home. The results on the road have been strong. Uh, we knew that uh, you know, an experienced uh, side that has nearly got in the playoffs last year um, were going to be a, a tough nut to crack. And uh, they proved to be so, especially once the, the penalty was given against us and they went 1-0 up. It was always going to be an uphill struggle. They, they stifled us, they frustrated the game, tried to frustrate the, the, gro the ground and the crowd, um, who were absolutely outstanding um, for the players. I think the, uh, the support the players were given. In the end, probably the quality of the support has, has driven the players to go and get the last-ditch equaliser um, throughout the, the first and second halves. Um, the noise on the terraces was uh, was incredible. Brilliant credit to them. Brilliant credit to them. But uh, now I, I I think the the words I said to the lads in there were that in the end patience and perseverance because they did show good patience. Um, you know that, that we did have to you know go direct a little bit um, and mix our game up. But we showed good patience on the ball as well. One or two moments when I found myself sort of trying to ask the crowd to to stay with the players um, as Holmesy knocked the ball backwards and I thought retained good possession under pressure and. Uh, I think the uh, you know the 90 minutes was a frustrating 90 minutes, but um, credit to the players for the perseverance that they did show. You mentioned in there um, a couple of times with frustration, and that's exactly their game plan. And but it really does change the game if that goal is given, and it's so far over the line. The linesman's on the line; it, it just beggars belief why that, that wouldn't be given. Yeah, it's it's astounding. I mean, from the dugout, um, you know, I I had in my mind, you know, given the goal, I could see that the ball was in the back of the net. Um, or let's put it another way, far enough over the line to, to, for the goal to be given. Um, I could see it from the dugout. So how the officials haven't seen it, I just don't know. Um, you know, it's the sort of situation you can even see from the reaction of the Carlisle players that the ball was in, the reaction from our players that the ball was in, the reaction from the Carlisle crowd that the ball was in. There were so many indicators that it was a goal. Um, and you know, tight games get won, you know, at the margins. Um, there's no reason for us to expect that we were going to go and put five past them. And we might have had to win it 1-0 tonight. And we might have had to be the side that was, you know, very professional after getting an early goal um, just to, you know, make sure we conceded nothing and, and win the game. But uh, as I say, it's a catalogue of decisions that seem to go against us. Um, I don't know what it is. I mean, we, we know from earlier in the season that, um, you know, there's briefings of refs. I don't understand these briefings of refs. I don't understand um, what they're all about. I don't understand why refs need to be briefed going into a, to a game. I don't understand what, what that's all about. Um, referee the game. Turn up, referee the game. Just see what you see. Give the decisions that you see. What do you need a briefing for going into the situation? Um, but whatever it is, um, I have to say that, what is it, 2,500 minutes since we had a penalty? Um, Sodgy tonight going into the penalty box. Same penalty box their penalty was given. Um, he's handballed it, apparently. Um, I mean, I saw I saw their goalkeeper motion towards him. I saw their goalkeeper make contact with him. If he did handball, he handballed it because he was under pressure from their goalkeeper. So uh, I don't understand how these decisions are being given. And and it wasn't just the big decisions tonight. It was little decisions all over the park all night. Um, the consistency of yellow cards. Um, I look at the, the the boy in midfield for them who made you know the early sliding tackle at our boy. I mean, I thought it was a, I thought it was a, a dangerous tackle. And then I look at Ro uh, Robbo and Huntley both getting yellow cards for, for next to nothing by comparison. What Huntley got a card for, I don't know, he's just been fouled, hasn't he? Um, so, it, it, you know, all over the, the pitch, the, the decisions are ones that um, are not going our way. And, uh, you know, you can, you, sometimes you've you just got to keep your, your lips shut. And other, on other occasions you think, well, this is enough's enough. And we've got to look at this, we've got to get into it, and we've got to try and understand what's going on. It's not to take away from you know, a, a poor first-half performance from us. I think we didn't work the ball um, from the back as we wanted to. We didn't get our full-backs high enough up the pitch. Um, we, didn't, we didn't put them under enough pressure, ask them enough questions through midfield. I thought we, I thought we spent too much of our time with our back to their goal, um, passing the ball backwards and not really taking any responsibility. I think all of that, but nonetheless, we, you know, we, we stayed in the game. 
And um, you know, in the second half, we upped the ante and we played you know well enough against that side to win the second half one nil um, with the late goal. You must be pleased for the two people involved in the goal, but for their patience and perseverance. Lee Holmes back from injury and showed a real bit of quality to, to deliver the ball, and Graham Cummins, who's had to be patient, and that's his first goal, I think, at deep now. Well, C- Cummins, credit to him. When he went on, he played with purpose. I um, was starting him down the, the right-hand side, and he went out. It's not natural to him, but he showed a drive and a determination to take the ball forward. He held the ball up well, and uh, when I moved him into the middle, um, he... he, he, he did what good forwards do. He got across his got across his marker, attacked across, and put it in the back of the net. So credit to him. He's um, you know he's had to he's had to be patient. He's scored a couple of goals in reserve games. He's been strong on the training ground, putting his extra work in. Like Chris Robertson, he's worked his way back onto the field. and He's made a difference tonight. Thanks very much. Okay.